For today's art activity, we are going to be creating a Kandinsky inspired tree collage. I'm going to start by taking my pieces of paper and I'm going to make sure I cover the entire paper with pieces of painted paper. This is going to be the background for our picture. The background is the part of the picture that's the farthest away from us. So this will be the ground and the sky. I'm going to start in the middle and then work my way towards the bottom for the pieces that I want for the ground. And then I'll go back in and fill in the pieces for the sky. Make sure you don't see any of that paper underneath. You want to overlap your pieces. That means one piece covers up the other piece just a little bit. Make sure they're overlapping just a teeny tiny little bit as you are working. It's okay if they don't go perfectly straight across the paper. Check both sides to see which side you like the best and then glue it down. You might have to rotate it, turn it, move it around to get it to fit perfectly. Put some glue on the paper where you want it to go and then place the paper onto the paper that's going to be for the background. Keep working on this process until you have glued down all of the strips across your picture. Take your time. If your fingers get messy with glue and sticky, you can rub them together to get the glue off. I gotta cover up that last spot. I'm gonna check to make sure everything is nice and covered with painted paper. And then I'm gonna flip the whole thing over and I'm gonna press and rub on the back. This will make sure that the glue is stuck. Now I'm going to get my pair of scissors and I'm going to trim off all that excess paper. But I'm going to do that after I write my name. In order for someone to know that it is my work of art, I have to put my name on it. So I'm going to write my name on the back of my paper. Now I'm going to take my pair of scissors and I'm going to trim off all the excess paper around the edges. Be very careful you don't cut the background paper, make sure you cut right next to it. If you get a little bit of it, that's okay, but try to be careful. Once you are done trimming your paper, we're gonna start gluing down the tree. Now, the first piece of long black paper is for the tree trunk, but that's too tall, so I'm gonna trim it shorter. When I cut the tree trunk, I wanna cut it with a diagonal this will make it look more realistic. Now I can start cutting the pieces for the branches. I can take one of the strips of black paper, fold it in half, and snip it. And that'll give me the pieces for two tree branches. But those are still kind of long, so I'm going to go ahead and trim them again. That looks good. Now I want a longer piece for the branch, for the main part of the branch, and then a shorter piece for the little piece of the branch that sticks off on the side. Each branch should kind of look like the letter Y. If I put this piece right here, you'll see that my tree branch looks like the letter Y. Let's make a couple more tree branches. When you make the tree branches, we don't want them all to be coming from the same spot. So you want to kind of stagger them across your paper. That means the tree branch on the left hand side should not be coming out of the tree trunk in the same spot as the tree branches on the right hand side. See how they're kind of staggered. This creates more variety in our art. There are some nice letter Y's. Now this extra piece, I think I'm gonna get rid of that one up there at the top. And I'm gonna start gluing everything down. I might swap out a few, get it looking just right. I like it. So now I'm gonna very carefully take the pieces and glue them down. I'm gonna slide the piece of black paper through the glue, and then I'm going to set it on my paper. Press and hold, count to 30 and make sure it's dry. Once you've glued everything down, go ahead, clean up your materials and you are all finished with this part of our tree collage project for today.